The school bus in front of St. Philbar's Catholic Church is getting far less attention than the one parked inside. I have never done anything like this before. But then funeral director Jim Hint has no friends as proud as Glenn Davis of his 55 years driving bus for Grand Meadow. Well, he always kind of joked with me that, uh, you know, it was something that he wanted. Joked until the funeral director enlisted his artistic niece to paint a custom casket for Glenn. When we showed it to Glenn, he just was speechless. He, uh, you know, almost, uh, almost brought him to tears. So proud, Glenn was known to bring friends to the funeral home to show off his casket. The casket Glenn now occupies after passing away at 88. I thought this would be a great way to, to honor him. Gary Sloan, Grand Meadows Transportation Director, made sure a bus with Glenn's old route number was parked in front of the church with another bus delivering students from the high school. He enjoyed the children so much. And he would love this. He would just love this today. Polly Glenn was among Glenn's many friends. He lived and breathed at Grand Meadow, and now we can say he died Grand Meadow. <laughs> <laughs> After transporting generations, Glenn Davis is taking his final ride. A man of faith going out in school spirit. Boy Dupert, Carol Evan News, Grand Meadow. In another testament to Glenn's school pride, he was placed in his casket wearing purple and white Grand Meadows school colors. By the way, we mentioned that pictures of Glenn's casket have gone viral. His friends say he would have been thrilled with all the attention he's brought to his hometown. Mm.